Hello YouTube, I'm going to be exploring a Matanui map, uh, yeah. Just know I'm going to be referencing the Matanui online game, and I'm going to be calling it Minog. Cause yeah. Now, this was made by Mexbot Dude. And he has heads of other players, so I'm going to assume they helped work on the map. So yeah, we start off in the charred forest. I'm going... Because I played Minog, I know this is geographically incorrect. He's sure Tahu's canister started near it, but... Takoro, he would have gotten to first. I think... The charred forest was a few feet above sea le level, not at it. So yeah, I thought that part would have cooled by now, by the time of Minog, but who knows. And so, if you figure out where the path is, which trust me, you're going to need it, you'll find this wooden thing. I don't know what the hell it's for. So... Run into Takoro. This should be on the other side. But we have Tahu Suba, which is diamond block. I'm going to be referencing each block. Um, and then where is it? Where is it? Well, first we can go to this, which, if you play Minog, you know is entirely incorrect. If you went down here, you find not whatever the hell this is. Sorry about that, uh, my camera was running out of power, so. I believe I was saying how there this wasn't the way to the Coley Arena, and there's no way, and, and that that was actually purely a cave that led to Onukoro. Um, what are these houses? Uh, what the hell is this? So. I'm looking for uh, Vakama's residence. How the hell did they do this? You know what? MC edit. I remember now. So, I can't figure out where Vakama's place is. Uh, or I don't think it's in here. Which is extremely stupid. As he's the leader of the Turaga. And I'd say about like fuck. Sorry. Sorry, I got a call. Um no, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh Vakama was is actually one of the smartest ones. Uh but Oh yeah, here's where the path is, uh Plus the Sacred Flame. It's actually a great source of plot in it, the story, but, uh, yeah. Die! Okay, so... I'm not gonna go to Lee Koro immediately, uh... First time heading off to Poke, like, to Kokoro. Meet you there. Okay, here we are at Kokoro. I'd say one of my favorite Koros. Um, remember how I said that there were heads of people who probably helped work on this? Uh, well, in whatever the hell this is, wherever the hell this is, 
Uh, there are some heads. Only one of them you'll recognize, though. Beige and Canadian, uh, hackers. Why do they call them that? Do they hack in and get this map early? Despite the fact that it's not finished and it's already been put out? On the interwebs? Well, and whatever the case, if anyone remember, knows who those other guys are, I don't care. Personally. But they're still hilarious. Uh, here's New Jew's place. Once again, why is it... Or, actually... Why is it that the homes of the Matoran have more in them than the Turaga's homes? At any rate, uh, Kapaka's is a block of iron. So... So, I will see you at Pokoro. Okay, so here we are at Pokoro. Seriously, what do these mean? That there's a Koro nearby? No crap. So yeah, this is quite faithful to Minog. Uh, just not with... I forgot to put this to peaceful. Uh, so yeah. The... There, uh, the Turaga's hut should be right here instead of a pile of sand. Uh, I think this is sort of spot on. Uh, I'm not sure though. And instead of a ore block, Pohatu actually has chiseled sandstone like this. Um, once again, why is it that the Turaga don't have crap? While the Matoran have, oh my god, they have lots of butter. And hell, they can even deck out their own beds. So, okay, next up, Gakoro. Alright, and there are a ton of Kopaka heads around the place. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, so, back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay, so by this, which should be emeralds, uh, <laughs> telescope, uh, we have this place, um, Gakoro. And Dolly is pretty lucky with her Suva. She got butter. How could she not be happy? Yeah, these things keep popping off. Um, for whatever reason, they were placed there. Um, yeah, not much is here. They don't seem to have the area where you go underwater, find the gear to help them out, and yeah. Uh, so, sorry about that, my dog's weird. Um, so, yeah, not much to say about here, except it's purdy. And now leading to Kenny Newey. So, we will be going to Lake Horo. See you there. Okay, here I am at Lake Koro. This place is laggy, and this thing is different from the others. Why do, are they there? Explain it to me, please. Okay, so you climb up some vines, keep droning on. Like, 
uh, Nat Night Shyamalan actor, I guess. So... Yeah, Leiwa's Suva's Emerald. Actually, I don't think we ever got to see the inside of... Uh... Uh, green... Uh, in, uh, Turaka's hut. Um... Yeah, I don't know where they got the design for this place, but I think it's kind of cool. That place is awesome. Uh, let's see if I can move anywhere without lagging. Um, okay. Let me, uh, get my bearings together. Um... So yeah, there's that, um... I'm not going to be clo- oh wait, they got the trapdoors working correctly now. I don't know whose home this is I've just broken into, but who cares, I'm heading off to Onukoro now. Oh, by the way, this volcano I never thought existed was here. Just saying. Yeah. I thought, like, Kenny knew it was supposed to be here instead of by Lake Horo. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going into Onukoro. Onukoro Highway, that's not inscribed there. I don't know why I said it, aside from being a nerd. So, the Suva here is Lapis. Uh, Onua, I'm not, I think that screwed over. Um, see, nothing but crap. And glowstone. Actually, not even crap. Just glowstone. Oh yeah, they ignored the fact that there was supposed to be a mine there. It was very important to the story of Minog. Minog. Yeah, this place has nothing bearing on the plot, and I never remember it existing. Oh yeah, here you were supposed to magma board, find a small little pump thing, complete a small puzzle, and have the magma drained up so you could enter here the uh, lightstone mines. Which, uh, how they got the designs for underneath it is anyone's guess. So, I will see you at Kinney Nui, the most wonderful, important, and sacred place on Mata Nui. Until it turned out that um, it this is just a bunch of rocks covering up Mata Nui, and yeah, this is a mess. Oh, all right. Okay, so here we are at Kinney Nui. Way too damn close to Lake Horo and covered in Kopaka heads. So apparently Kopaka can respawn like a Minecraftian and is terrible at the game. Oh yeah, there's this on top of emeralds, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, I did not know that this was here. Oh my god, what are these spawners of? Uh, slimes appear apparently.
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have a mod or texture pack on, but... Oh, and magma cubes. That's adorable. Um... More slimes. Uh. Oh, oh, is there anything, anything at all under here? Nope, nope, void, 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 void. <coughs> yeah. This place is hilarious, is awesome. I did not know that this was a place. Oh yeah, those things. Uh, why did they tunnel down this far? They could have added another layer and added a small dome and some connection stuff. Making Essentially, the hives that the bow rock resided in. So, yeah, I did not know that was down there until now. Well, this was quite hilarious. Ah. Lego, you're an idiot for stopping Bionicle. Well... Anyways, dudes... Uh, fuck. So... I'm gonna have to go now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, go explore the map. See if you can find any easter eggs or whatever the hell those stupid little wooden things are supposed to do. Just know that the map isn't completed yet, from what I gathered. So yeah, you can actually download it from the link in the description below. And I'll see you guys later, YouTube. Bye!